Welcome back to Jenkins tutorial series. In this episode, we will deep dive into the Jenkins pipeline and walk you through the process of creating a robust CI CD pipeline for deploying Java projects. Whether you are a developer, DevOps engineer, or just curious about automating software delivery, this tutorial is tailored for you. I have also created a playlist on Azure Function Apps, Azure Logic Apps, Azure Database for MySQL, Azure Key Vault. If you are interested, I will provide link to those playlists in the description box. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. In the next video, we will learn about how to deploy a Java project uh, using Jenkins Pipeline script. I have already created a script for building a Java project. In the next video, we will use this script to build and deploy Java projects. In this video, we will go through each and every step of creating a Jenkins pipeline script. A Jenkins pipeline may contain various stages and each stage may contain multiple steps. So the first of all, we define the environment variables that are used in this script. Like we here, we had defined this tool, Maven, and then we had defined the Git credentials. Like uh, these credentials will be used to log into the GitHub. The very first stage in Jenkins pipeline script is checkout stage. So like here, we are defining stages. Under this stage block, we have multiple stages, like stage one, then we have stage two and stage three. Each stage has a defined name, like the first stage is checkout, then the second stage is build, and then the third is unit test. So in this first stage, checkout stage, we have steps like checking the source code from the GitHub. Like we have defined here, uh, git scm source control management. Then we have this branch name, like we may have multiple branch names to fetch our source code from. So here in this project, we are going to fetch the main branch only. Then we will provide our git credentials and the URL of our git repository. So I will provide this code in the description of the video. Then we have the second stage, build stage. So in this stage, we have steps like uh, building the uh, project. We can echo like I have started building the Java project. Then we will provide the tool that will be used to build the project. If it would have been .NET project, we would have used the tools like uh, .NET SDK. Then we have this unit test. In this stage, we have steps like running the unit tests. We First of all, we will echo like I have started running the unit tests. As already told, this echo, this will print the line on console. Then we will call the uh, maven home bin slash maven tests here. We have defined our unit tests for this project. Then we have this uh, deploy stage. In this stage, we have steps to deploy the project. For example, deploying the Java application. We will copy the jar files to a directory on the Jenkins agent. Agent here, we have defined it agent any agent so for this project we are not defining any specific host where this application will be uh, deployed we are using any agent mostly if we are working on local host if the Jenkins is installed on our local host then the project will be also deployed on local host after this deploy uh, stage we have the next stage post this post stage contains uh, steps like post build steps in this stage we can like uh, write a script to send emails after if the project have was successfully built and deployed or we can send the failure emails if the project failed to deploy or failed to build. So we can have multiple post build actions in this section. So we can have success, similarly we can have failure here. So these are the steps. In the next video, we will use this script to build our Java project that is hosted on GitHub repos Thanks for watching.